Hi, I'm Jose with Rack Prodigy. You are watching this video because you went through lesson 11 in the path to Rack Prodigy where you learned the major scale on one string. And I wrote a song with that particular scale so you can have a nice musical example to play. And I'm gonna give you some tips and show you some tricks on how to play the song and hopefully inspire you to write your own melodies and songs. Let's do it. So let's talk about the tone. This song features two different parts. One that has a very nice and clean melodies on the first string. And also features sort of heavy power chords in the lower strings. So what I decided is to get my Fender Stratocaster plug into a Fender Supersonic amp with a little bit of crunch. So whenever I play the power chords, I roll my volume all the way up and I get that sort of heavy distortion. And when I roll my volume a little bit down, I get a nice clean sound. So that's something nice to think about, you know, so you don't have to change different sounds within the same song. Okay, let's jump into the song. Okay, let's learn the parts of this song. This song features three main parts. The first one is the power chords that we play in the intro of the song. It goes like this. In that section, we are playing mainly E power chord and A power chord with these two notes on the fifth string. One quick tip to play that section is that whenever you go from this note to the E power chord, you don't have to lift your finger because it's already there. So in the section there you go, make sure you hold your index. Okay, here's the second part of the song. In this part, we are playing a melody on the first string. So we cannot really reach all the frets from the same position, so we need to think of what fingers we're gonna play, we're gonna use to play it. My advice will be to play the first section on fourth position, that means that your index is on the fourth fret, and you start playing the melody with your pinky. That way you can reach all the sevenths, the fifths, and the fourths. And then whenever you play fret number two, you can just shift positions to that note. It will be a little bit easier to shift with the index than shifting with your pinky. So that will go like... And here's the third part of the song. As you can see, it features the whole major scale on the first string. So you can use the same fingering that you learned in lesson 11. You can also use these. I'm gonna start with my pinky, ring, index. So those three notes are played on the ninth position because my index is on the ninth fret. Then you can shift to the fourth position. As you can see, my index is on the fourth fret and then just play the second fret with your index finger. So the whole thing will be... Well, I hope those tips were helpful, and I really hope that you have fun playing the milestone song. Um, if you feel really good about the major scale on one string, you can move forward to the lesson number 12 on the minor scale in one string. And, you know, if you have questions or anything, feel free to hit us up on rackprodigy.com and keep having fun playing this song. Take care. <laughs>